We are live. Okay, thank you. PC recording done. Sergeant Bradley, can you do the cloud recording? Cloud recording is up. Backup is rolling. Thank you. Sergeant Polite, you may take it away with the opening. Thank you. Good morning and welcome to the remote hearing on Parks and Recreation. For council members and staff, please turn on their video at this time. Once again, will council members and staff, please turn on their video at this time. Thank you. To minimize disruption, please place all cell phones electronics to vibrate. You may send your testimony at testimony at council.nyc.gov. Once again, that's testimony at council.nyc.gov. Chair Ku, we are ready to begin. Thank you for joining our virtual hearing today before the Council's uh, Committee on Parks and Recreation. I would like to acknowledge my fellow council members who are present, uh, especially to Council Member uh, Diaz, uh, her first time to this committee. And we are also joined by Council Member Adams, Cohen, Council Member Levine, Council Member Bannon uh, Holden, and Council Member Rembrimer, Council Member Jonai, Council Member Moyer. Good morning. I am Council Member Peter Ku. I am pleased to chair the Committee on Parks and Recreation. Today, the committee will be voting on a preconceived bill that will ceremonially co name 92 thoroughfares and public places throughout the city. These co-naming bills are the result of the council's periodic process where we seek to honor individuals and organizations that have made lasting contributions to the people of our city. Some of these include co-names for active community members, heroic New Yorkers who sacrificed their lives for others, people who committed their lives to public services, or those who greatly enriched the city's cultural landscape. Of the many people honored by this piece of legislation, I would like to call attention to three New Yorkers who dedicated their lives to public services. Former council members, Thomas Ogibini, Lewis Fittner, and Wendell Foster. Tom Ogibini served in the council from 1991 to 2001, and Lou Fittner served from 2002 to 2013. Wendell Foster was the first African-American from Bronx to hold elected office and serve with great distinction for 24 years in the council. These individuals were proud champions for their communities and constituents and have led us city elected officials with a great legacy to live up to. I'm happy to support this bill and I urge my all my colleagues on the committee to vote in favor of this legislation. Before we conduct the bill, before we conduct the vote, we will con uh, hear testimony from a few individuals who will speak on behalf of some of the New Yorkers we are honoring today. Once their testimony is concluded, we will hold the vote on this bill. Thank you. I would like, I would now like to turn it over to our moderator, Committee Council Chris Satavi to, to go over some of the procedural items. Thank you, Chair Ku. Uh, just to note, we've also been joined by Council Members, uh, Council Member Gibson and Council Member Borelli. Um, uh, good morning, I'm Chris Sartori. I'm the Senior Counsel to the Parks Committee and I'll be moderating the hearing. Uh, before we begin, I'd like to remind everyone that you'll be on mute until you are called on to testify, at which point you'll be unmuted by the host. During the hearing, I'll be calling on the various panelists to testify, so please listen for your name to be called as I'll periodically be announcing who the next panelists will be. 
For this hearing, we will be hearing testimony only from members of the public. During uh, the hearing, if council members would like to ask a question of a specific panelist, please use the Zoom hand raise function and I will call on you in order. For members of the public who will testify, please state your name and the organization you represent, if any, uh, once it's your time to speak. Once public testimony has concluded, we will conduct a vote on the pre-considered co-naming legislation once we have a quorum of Parks Committee members. At this time, I will invite the first panelist to speak. Uh, so far, we, uh, we have two panelists that have registered to speak. Um, I will call on Ashuk Ramsaran to testify, and he will be followed by Kevin Livingston. Uh, Mr. Ramsaran, you may begin your testimony. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to make my uh, testimony public. My name is Ashok Ramsaran. I represent the Indian Diaspora Council, as well as the committee to co-name one block in honor of Pandit Ramlal, to be called Pandit Ramlal's Way, uh, one block of 133rd Street between Liberty Avenue and 105th Street in Fifth Avenue in Queens. I want to thank Council Member Adrian Adams for her help in reach this uh, bill getting this far and with her guidance and her encouragement, it has reached this stage. We are seeking your approval for co-naming this one block in honor of the late Dharmacharya Pandit Ramlal, a selfless and avid community advocate who passed away on January 26, 2019 at the age of 91. There's overwhelming community board, community residents, religious, business and organizational support for this application over 5,000 signatures, dozens of letters of support and petitions submitted. In fact, we have a 90 page volume that was presented to the council member Adams uh, in support of this um, request. Uh, he, this gentleman founded the late area, this late gentleman founded the Area Spiritual Center of New York and the same being extensively used for various community events, including the annual Gandhi Peace March, the Diwali Parade, the Ramayana in the park, etc. As can be seen from his extensive bio, the late Dharmacharya Pandit Ramlal was a well-respected, iconic spiritual leader and scholar, a pioneering community advocate who had been recognized locally and internationally for his lifelong community service. He founded the annual Pagua Day Holy Parade in New York, and Queensboro President uh, declared March 23rd, 2003, as Pandit Ramlal Way. He was indeed a tremendous asset to the community with a lifetime of service to spirituality, justice, and freedom. We followed all the protocols and procedures in filing this application, and we have supporters who are diligently in favor of this. Queens is the most diverse community and the late Pandit Ramlal represented the best and brightest among us. Our community eagerly looks forward to this New York City's council approval. Thank you for your consideration. Any questions? I'm... Thank you, sir. Do any members have questions or wish to speak? Thank you. Oh, council member. Um, I see Councilmember Adams uh, does have a question. I didn't, I was looking for my raised hand. I couldn't find it all of a sudden. Uh, I just want to congratulate uh, Mr. Uh, Ram Saran. It has been an absolute pleasure and honor uh, knowing you over the years. Uh, and it is more of an honor uh, for me to uh, help make this happen. It is more than a pleasure for me. I don't think I've ever seen a package put together like yours, 5,000 signatures more for this amazing individual who more than deserves this street co-naming. So congratulations to you and I salute you. And of course, I will always salute Pandit Ramla. Thank you. In fact, this volume may be presented to New York, Live, New York Library in Queens in the local community there for others to read as well. Historic amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll now hear testimony from Mr. Kevin Livingston. 
may begin. Thank you. Good morning. How are you doing? Thank you so much for having me. Uh, first, happy holidays to all you uh, and family. Uh, pray all as well. This is a very, um, this is really, really, really gratifying for me. I want to thank Councilmember Adams for your, your leadership in allowing my hero, community hero, Henry Clayton, to be brought to this level. A little bit about Henry Clayton. He was an entrepreneur from Southeast Queens back in the 90s. He had one of the largest black and brown owned travel agency in South in Queens that employed over 40 to 50 people from our area. In Rochdale Village in particular, Mr. Clayton had employed 25 young people to learn the travel industry and he would pull them off the street. Often I will go down the block and ride with my dad. Henry Clayton is my father. And he would go down South Road, areas of the Great 28 uh, uh, Council District, and, 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 and buy clothes for homeless men, uh, women. Um, he often would ride down. He, he also owned a Frito-Lay route that would go down Sufton Boulevard in the Great 28 and pick up young men on the street and give them an opportunity to work. He's done this for 25 years until he went into his travel agency. Henry Clayton is my hero. Henry Clayton is the reason why 100 Suits does what it does in the community. I've learned the things that I do with senior citizens through Henry Clayton. He used to take the community room inside of Allen Cathedral, I'm sorry, Allen Senior Center and buy lunches for the seniors every month. I've learned my community activism through him. The corner of 137 and 169th is where he had his hub of Hendon Travel that allowed young men and women to learn the industry. He's worked with everybody from the president of Rochdale Village to Assemblywoman Cook. Um, and he has ringing support all around Southeast Queens. Some of the notables is Colin Kaepernick, who has reached out and given me his support on this legislation allowing the street co-naming of Henry Clayton. I just want you all to understand the enormity of what he's had in Southeast Queens and to what he's meant to our young people and what he's put the battery in my back to continue every day the things that I do with 100 suits. I thank you for getting me to this moment. And I thank you for allowing or considering to continue my dad's legacy and allowing young black boys and girls to look at that street corner, brown boys and girls, white boys and girls, Asian, no matter your ethnicity, race, creed, or color, to look at that and see a real community hero, a real community champion that cared about people and did something that's real New York to me is put people first. That's what Henry Clayton is and that's why I'm testifying on his behalf. Thank you, Mr. Livingston. If uh, if there are any members who ha have a question or would list, would also like to speak, please physically raise your hand if you can turn on your video because we are having a few issues with the Zoom hand raise function. And I will uh, call on you. I see Council Member Adams followed by Council Member Diaz has a question or would like to speak. So Council just, Member Adams. Thank you. Thank just you. very quickly, I just wanted to congratulate Mr. Livingston uh, on this day, uh, on this submission. Um, it is not often that we are able to celebrate heroes um, in the Black community, such as your dad was. And I'm so very happy uh, to be able to have co-sponsored this legislation in his memory. So thank you very much and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Council Member Diaz, I believe, wished to speak next. Yes, I just want to say thank you to both the presenters for following in the footsteps of the community advocates presented here today. As a community advocate, you allow me to reflect the many members of my community who've taken part in such behavior as yours. Thank you for pursuing the legacy. People need to know in our communities who did what. 
often when leadership moves on to, to a different state of life, our heroes are, are, are forgotten. So again, thank you both for presenting and moving forward and allowing me to be a part today of, of your process and, and honoring your heroes. We're better for it. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member. I just want to note we've been joined by Council Members Kozlowitz and Council Member, Council Member Rose as well. Um, I believe that was the last person who has signed up to testify. If there are any others, please use a Zoom raise hand function or physically raise your hand as we're having an issue with that. Um, if any other members would like to speak, also please physically raise your hand and we'll call on you to testify. Okay, seeing none, I will now turn it back over to Chair Ku, who will adjourn this part of the hearing. And once that is, once we are adjourned, we will readjourn or reopen the next hearing for the committee vote. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Uh, the meeting uh, is being adjourned. Pedro, we're live. PC recording done. Sergeant Bradley, can you do the cloud recording? Cloud recording is up. Backup is rolling. Thank you, Sergeant Polite. You can take it away. Thank you. Good morning and welcome to the remote hearing on parks and recreation. Will council members and staff please turn on their video at this time? To minimize disruption, please place all cell phones and electronics to vibrate. Chair Ku, we are ready to begin. Thank you for joining our virtual hearing today before the Council's Committee on Parks and Recreation. Uh, I would like to acknowledge my fellow council members who are present today. Council Member Diaz, Adams, Council Member Cohen, Council Member Levine, Brandon, Council Member Holden, Council Member Van Bamer, and And Council Member, uh, I have a list here, so. And Council Member Van Buren, Council Member Joyline, Council Member Moya, Council Member Borelli, and Council Member Gibson. Uh, we are here today to vote for legislation to rename the 92 thoroughfares and public spaces. Uh, would the council uh, make the call to vote. William Martin, committee clerk, will call vote committee on parks and recreation. Chair Ku. I will aye. Cohen. Uh, permission to just briefly explain my vote. Peter, I'm going to take that as your silence as a yes. <laughs> I, I really yes, just want. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> thank you, Peter. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Uh, I, I am going to vote yes. I just wanted to take a second. I think this is my last vote at the Parks Committee. Uh, and I just wanted to say uh, that what a pleasure it's been to serve on the Parks Committee. I, I've served on the Parks Committee for the entire time in the council, uh, currently under Chair Ku and uh, Chairs Levine and uh, Chairs Grudenchik. And it's really just, it's, I am most proud of the work that we've done in parks. I feel like we've made the parks department better. We've made our city parks better. Uh, and I have just found the work very gratifying and working with all of you, my colleagues, uh, uh, Chris and Patrick, thank you also uh, for all that you do to make the committee run smoothly. Uh, and with that, I vote aye. Thank you. Thank you, Chair, I mean, Chair Cohen, huh? <laughs> of the Consumer Affairs. Yeah. Thank you for your dedication and service in the past committee. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Levine. Uh, permission to briefly explain that we will miss council member Colin terribly. Please go ahead, yeah. <laughs> um, well, you, you, you've been a stalwart <laughs> member of this committee, council member. Um, uh, unfortunately now there'll be no one to complain when we hold our hearings on Fridays, uh, <laughs> but, but, but alas, we will soldier on. Um, thank you for everything you've done to fight for parks in your district and citywide. And uh, there'll be many more chances to say this, but um, we're just wishing you all the best in your new role as a jurist in the great borough of the Bronx. Thank you. And I'll be voting aye. 
Van Bramer. I vote aye. Thank you. Brannon. Aye. Jonai. I vote aye. Thank you. Holden. Mission to briefly explain my vote. Uh, Council Member, please go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Chair Ku. Uh, I just want to uh, uh, really uh, honor with this uh, street co naming uh, my good friend and former council member and minority leader, Tom Ogdebeni, who um, served 10 years in the council with distinction uh, and uh, was a, a, a really a role model for me as a council member in uh, delivering um, constituent services um, and redoing parks, by the way. He re, uh, reconstructed so many parks in the district um, that uh, that was a, a kind of, a, and I worked with him on that for almost 10 years. Um, in, uh, in coordinating that. So I just want to recognize Tom Ogdebeni um, for his work. He, unfortunately, we lost him at the age of 71. Um, and uh, this, is, uh, this is my way and the community's way of honoring Tom Ogdebeni. Uh, thank you so much, Chair, and I vote aye. Thank you. Moya. I vote aye. Thank you. Uh, Diaz. I vote aye. Diaz. <laughs> aye. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Ulrich. Uh, you muted, Council Member Ulrich. Yeah, hi. Uh, good morning, everybody. I just want to second what Council Member Holden said about Tom Ogdenbeni, a, a real giant and uh, a, a, an important part of the institution of the City Council, played a very a uh, close role uh, and friendship with former Speaker Vallone in uh, putting New York City back on track and saving New York City. So I'm so proud to uh, cast this vote in favor of the street renamings and uh, to honor Tom Ogdenbeni and all the other wonderful people that will be honored today. I vote aye. Thank you. Council Member Borelli. He was on earlier, he's not now. Okay, by a vote of 10 in the affirmative, zero in the negative and no abstentions, preconceived introduction in relation to the naming of 92 thoroughfares and public places has been adopted by the committee. Thank you. Thank you, uh, council members uh, who are here here to, uh, today to vote for this very important bill. Uh, we are here to honor all these heroes uh, for their contributions to the New York City. So this meeting is being adjourned. <laughs>